Rusty's Devious Deed Rusty, the new engine, was sulking. <laughs> the trucks wouldn't stop singing rudely at him. Luke was horrified. Shut up! He ordered, and he bumped them hard. I'm sorry the trucks were rude to you, Rusty. Rusty was still furious. It's all your fault. You made them laugh at me. Nonsense, said Emily. Luke would never do that. We engines have our differences, but we never talk about them to the trucks. That would be dis... dis... Disgraceful, said Thomas. Disgusting, put in Diesel. Despicable, finished Emily. Rusty hated Luke. He wanted him to be sent away. So he made a plan. He was going to tell lies about Luke. Next day, he spoke to the cars. I see you like jokes. You made a good joke about me yesterday. <laughs> I laughed and laughed. Luke told me one about Thomas. I'll whisper it. Don't tell Thomas I told you. And he sniggered away. LOL, goofed the cars. Thomas will be cross with Luke when he knows. Let's tell him and get back at Luke for bumping us. They laughed rudely at the engines as they went by. Soon, Thomas, Emily, and Diesel found out why. Disgraceful, said Thomas. Disgusting, put in Diesel. Despicable, finished Emily. We can't allow it, they consulted together. Yes. He did it to us. We'll do it to them and see how he likes it. Luke was tired out. The cars had been cheeky and troublesome. He wanted to rest in the shed. The three engines barred his way out. Keep out! Stop fooling, said Luke. I'm tired. So are we, hissed the engines. We're tired of you. We like Rusty. We don't like you. You tell tales about us to the cars. I don't! You do! I don't! You do! Sir Topham Hatt came to stop the noise. Luke called me a block, spluttered Thomas. Gross black scrap iron, hissed Diesel. I'm a big, fat, ugly, lazy dummy, Feud, fumed Emily. Well, Luke, Luke considered. I only wish, sir, he said gravely, that I thought of those names myself. If the dome fits, he made cars laugh at us, accused the engines. So Topham Hat recovered. He had been trying not to laugh himself. Did you, Luke? Certainly not, sir. No steam engine will be as mean as that. Rusty lurked up. Now... Rusty, you heard what Luke said. I can't understand it, sir. To think that duck, all of his engines, I'm dreadfully grieved, sir, but no nothing. I see, said Sir Topham Hat. Rusty squirmed and hoped he didn't. I'm sorry, Luke, but you must go to Edward Station for a while. I know he'll be glad to see him as you wish, sir. Luke trundled sadly away while Rusty smirked with triumph.